This is a video showing the initial connection of the NRX100W to Wavelogger X software on a PC through a wired LAN connection. If you do not have Wavelogger X installed on your PC, you can download it from keyends.com. For this video, we will be using an NRX100W. an NRTH08P, a Cat5 or higher Ethernet cable, with two K-type thermocouples, CASD16G SD card, and the NRXU1 power supply for AC wall power. You can also supply power to the NR through battery power with the NRU15 and NRXB1, or a 24V DC power with an external power supply. First is the hardware setup. Ensure that the DIP switches on the top of your NRX100W are set to the desired NRID position. If you only have one unit, we recommend keeping all four switches in the off position for ID0. This will turn off other features that could interfere with our initial setup process. Connect your measurement unit to your NRX100W. For a secure connection, tighten the set screw into the NRX100W main unit. You can attach your sensors at this time. If you have remote units or environmentally resistant units, connect those at this time as well. Open the SD card slot and insert your SD card. Connect your NRX to the PC with the Ethernet cable. Connect the NRXU1 power supply. Turn on the power switch on the NRX100W. Once everything is connected, you can expect to see a green LED light up on top of the NRX100W, a blinking green LED light for the SD card, and a blinking green LED light for link slash ACT. Go to your PC and open Wavelogger X. When opening the software for the first time, you will be asked to select a device, NRX100 or NR500. You will want to select NRX100W for the unit we have connected. This sets our startup interface. We can change this setting along with others in the system configuration setting. To open the system configuration settings, click on the folder icon in the top left of Wavelogger X. Select Environment and System Configuration Setting. Common settings that we recommend are adjusting the unit display settings to the P-type. Selecting your preferred temperature unit. 
and ensuring that you have the correct startup interface. You have now completed the system configuration settings. At any point, if you want to check or troubleshoot your connection, you can click the Connection Check button in the Home tab. If you are not properly connected, you will see a window with connection failed. To resolve this, open the Connection Setting button. Make sure that have the correct connection target, interface, and ID of master unit selected. If you have one NRX100W that you are connecting over LAN, it is easiest to start these as NRX100 LAN and ID of NRX100 LAN 0. In the IP address section of the connection setting window, click the Select button to the right of NRX100 LAN. Click the Automatic Detection button, which should detect the IP address of the NRX. If you do not see this unit, verify that you are directly connected to the NRX and that there are no firewall settings blocking the communication of your PC's Ethernet port. You should also verify the IP address of the PC's Ethernet port. For quick connection to the NR's default IP address, set your port's IP address to 192.168.100.10. Click to highlight the unit in the list and click the setting button. This will ensure that you have the current IP address of the NRX set as ID0. Click connect LAN. You will expect to see connection successful. Click the connection check button in the home tab again to confirm connection. If you are properly connected, you will see a communication window that displays system settings and connected measurement units. If you wish to change the IP address of the NRX, go to the Main Unit Settings slash Operations tab and open Main Unit LAN in the Main Unit Settings section. Change the IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and access restrictions as desired. And once ready, click Design Change. IP address settings of the NRX will be changed. If the new IP address of the unit is on the same network as the PC, the connection to the PC will be maintained. This is the end of the initial connection.